After three long and arduous seasons in the truck series, Haley Deegan is moving up to Xfinity next season. Haley Deegan and AM Racing announced on Thursday that she will be moving up to the Xfinity Series in 2024, taking over the now number 15 car for AM Racing, who will have a two-car operation. They had no mention of who was going to be in that second car yet, whether that will be Brett Moffitt, who doesn't sound like he will return to the team, or whether that will be an all-star car that maybe Ford Performance rotates some of their drivers through remains to be seen. But what we do know is that Haley Deegan will drive that number 15 car full-time on what the team is calling a multi-year deal. She'll have sponsorship from Airbox and Viva Hard Seltzer, uh, both of which have very few Twitter followers and social media followers in general, which is slightly concerning, but it doesn't matter. She's moving up to the Xfinity Series after, like I said, three long, arduous, very trying seasons in the Xfinity series where she racked up an average finish of 21.3 and she has five total top 10 finishes to her name uh, in all three seasons combined. So that doesn't necessarily warrant a move up on merit based on performance, but what Haley Deegan does bring is some marketability for her sponsors and that is a big portion of what racing is these days. So Haley Deegan moves up to the Xfinity series next year. Two new sponsors come into the sport. That's good. That's healthy. We need new sponsors to always come into the sport. What's concerning is her lack of performance in the truck series, despite being in really top-notch equipment all three seasons. When she went from DGR to now Thor Sport, she was in really good equipment. Her teammates won races. Her teammates contended for championships. And meanwhile... She was back racing Lawless Allen for 22nd place on average. Not ideal. She does have one lone Xfinity start to her name in 2022, rather, at Las Vegas, where she came home 13th. And to some people, that's enough of a justification to move her up to the Xfinity series full time. Personally, one race isn't enough of a sample size to make a proper judgment off of. No scientist in the world is going to look at one test and be like, yep, that's the answer right there. Forget about all the other samples that we could do. You need a bigger sample size. And five or six races in 2023 would have given you a pretty good idea if she should move up. Instead, she didn't have the budget for that, which is completely understandable. But now her and her partners and her management team have found those sponsors and they found the money to go to the Xfinity Series in 2024. Everyone talks about how the Xfinity car suits her driving style more, which it more than likely does. The car that she won her Arca starts in is more similar to that of the Xfinity car. And she won all of her Arca starts on short tracks, which is another thing, especially all of them being Arca West races. The competitive depth of those Arca West fields, not exactly the best, and she was in the best equipment for that series. She moves up to the truck series, and she struggled bad, right? Um, she has two top 10 finishes this season, both at Texas earlier in the spring and then at Talladega this past weekend. Haley Deegan now moves up to the triple A of NASCAR. She's one step below going all the way to the Cup Series, all the way to the top of the sport. And it's not concerning, but it is a little confusing considering she's got the talent level right now from what we've seen in the Truck Series to be hanging out in like the Arizona Fall League rather than hanging out in Triple A. She doesn't belong in Double A. Eh. Single A, maybe you can make a justification for her there, but her numbers aren't very indicative of somebody that should be moving up the ladder. You would never see a baseball team move somebody up the ladder, but again, this is different because she brings money, which thus then gets her into a seat and can potentially allow her to find a way into the Cup Series, which is something. So good for Haley Deegan. For AM Racing, this is good as well because they're going to get some more Ford backing. She's obviously a Ford back driver. They let Zane Smith go so that they can keep their driver pipeline stacked with Haley Deegan and Frankie Muniz. And that's not a ricochet shot at either of those two people. It's just that you let a blue chip go to hold on to two other people. Time will tell in 2024 if Haley Deegan is qualified enough to run a full season in the Xfinity Series if her talent level matches what we saw in that lone Xfinity start back in 2022 at Las Vegas, or if we see more of what we saw in the Truck Series. At least one truck driver, being Dean Thompson, appeared to be pretty happy that she's leaving. Uh, Haley does have a tendency to get caught up in accidents or cause accidents, but again, not everything's her fault, and she does get raced pretty bad in the Truck Series, uh, but she continually, like I've said in the past, puts herself in bad positions, and if you know she work on qualifying and work on the racecraft a little bit, she would probably be able to avoid a lot of those 
instances. The Xfinity Series is a completely different animal, though. Um, the number of competitive cars in the Xfinity Series is definitely smaller than the number of competitive trucks. It'll be interesting to see if she can rise to the top of, like, the midfield teams uh, in the Xfinity Series. But regardless, we're going to find out what she can do next season. So, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram, Twitter, and threads at BreakHardBlog.